first of all i would request all my viewers to like subscribe and share my channel these lectures are copyrighted and may not be used in any way for business purposes so today we are going to study doppler effect doppler effect is the shift in frequency and wavelength of waves due to the relative motion of the source and the receiver there is an upward shift in frequency observed by the observer when the wave source is approaching and a downward shift when it is moving away from the observer doppler effect applies to all waves including sound water light and all the electromagnetic waves to better understand the doppler effect one must be familiar with the following terminologies the distance between two successive crests in a sound wave or electromagnetic wave is called wavelength see this this wave distance between successive crests is one wavelength number of vibrations or oscillation per second is frequency wavelength is equal to velocity divided by frequency nodes are points where amplitude is zero and anti nodes are points where amplitude is maximum an example of doppler effect is the change of pitch observed when a vehicle surrounding a horn approaches and recedes from an observer see in this case when the vehicle is approaching the observer there is an increase in frequency decrease in wavelength and increase in pitch see the difference and when it is moving away from the observer the apparent wavelength increases this is better understood in this way see the vehicle is approaching towards the observer so high frequency means high pitch and low frequency means low pitch explanation when the source moved towards the observer each successive wave crest is emitted from a position closer to the observer than the previous one hence each wave takes slightly less time to reach the observer than the previous one the time between the arrival of successive wave crests at the observer is reduced causing an increase in frequency when the source is moving away from the observer the distance between successive wave fronts is increased causing an increase in frequency hence the waves spread out redshift according to the wave and quantum theories of light respectively redshift is a phenomena where electromagnetic radiation from an object undergo an increase in wavelength this increase in wavelength is called redshift which is equivalent to a decrease in frequency and photon energy h nu redshift and blue shift describe two light shifts toward shorter or longer wavelengths as objects in space such as stars or galaxies move closer or further away from us the concept is key to charting the universe expansion a red shift in light indicates that the object is moving away from the observer this is called the doppler shift or doppler effect the observed wavelength of light is longer and the light is shifted toward the red end of the visible spectrum this is one of the evidences that is used to support the big bang theory it seems that the light traveling from distant galaxies is red shifted that means the universe is expanding from an initial point to what we observe today and all the objects are moving away further explanation of redshift the apparent color of the light source is changed by its motion for a light source moving towards an observer the color of the light will appear bluer while moving away from an observer the light would appear redder the effect claims that the observed frequency or wavelength of a light source depends on the velocity of the source relative to the observer the motion of the source causes the waves in front of the source to be compressed and behind the source to be stretched the applications of doppler effect a few applications are listed below defining velocity of the speeding cars police uses doppler effect of radar waves to measure the speed of car on the highway to determine the depth of oceans by making use of sonars in astronomy to calculate speed of stars and galaxies to study saturn rings bats hunting for their prey in medical diagnosis to measure the rate and direction of blood flow in a patient's body with ultrasound meteorologists use doppler effect to find out the direction and velocity of raindrops wind direction and other weather events to predict weather pattern including coming storms etc 
now we will solve uh, some questions from the past papers from cambridge board <laughs>